Okay, let us discuss the next problem. So this is again related to the finding moment. So this is one point R two three six. So let me see what the problem says. The force F one. So there is a force F one, and this is given as A J. So this force. Applied to a point whose radius vector is so radius vector of this force is given to you. So you have a force A J. Radius vector is A I. Are you getting or not? Now this says again. So what the next part of the problem? Uh, there is another force F two. So the force F two is. This is given as B I. So this is again. And apply to radius vector b z, a small b z. So this is the two forces. The radius vector that is point of application is given to you. So you see, but you have you have two forces. So let me make a sketch. So you have f one that is acting a i. So a i is this distance. So if a is positive, so this is vector a i. So this is r one. Simply a i. Now there is a force A Z, so this force is acting along the Z direction. So this is F1, that is basically A Z. So this is given to you. Are you getting? Now let us see the next force, that is R2 is B Z. So B Z is somewhere here. Let us say this value is B unit. So this force is B Z. So this radius vector is R2 is given to you. So that is B Z. And the force F2. Is B I capital B I so this force is acting in this direction, and this is B I. Are you getting? So this is F two. Everybody getting or not? Now the question is asking, what is the lever arm of resultant force? So what is the my point? So my point is, so let me draw it slightly big. What is the lever arm? Lever arm of resultant force. So what do you lever the arm? So how will you find? So first find out the. So let me give you one. First find out the total moment, and then you find out the total force, and then you will divide by the total moment. Magnitude magnitude of total moment divided by total force magnitude that will give you lever arm. Are you getting or not? So what is my point? So first find out the total moment. So moment vector will be something like this. R cross F so R1 cross F1 plus R2 cross F2. So this you will find, and then you find total force, and you divide you will get the answer. So let me wait for one minute. Maybe some of you are able to do this one. So let us wait for some time. So what do you have to do? Moment, you have to find moment. You have to find total force, and then you have to divide. Okay, let me discuss the solution. So, moment R1 is what? So, you see, R1 is A I. So, you see here, R1 is nothing but A I cross F1. F1 is what? A Z plus R2 is what? B Z. Are you able to see or not? So, this is B Z. So, I can write B Z cross F2 is what? You see here, B I. So, this is my Moment so I cross J is K, so A I K so A A K so because I cross J is K if you remember if you have I this side you have J this side you have K I J K so I cross J is K plus B cross B is what so J cross J is what so B B and J cross I that is minus K are you getting I cross J is K and J cross I is minus K so now I can write A A minus B B K So what is the magnitude of moment vector? So you can write magnitude of moment vector is 
a a minus b b so this is my magnitude now i know what is the total force the total force will be f1 plus f2 f1 is what you see here f1 is you can see f1 is a uh, capital a z so this is capital a z now what is f2 you see here f2 is what capital b i so this is capital b i so what is the magnitude of f resultant f so this will be under root a square plus b square and now how we define lever arm so we define moment is equals to magnitude of moment is equals to magnitude of force into lever arm that is the distance so now i have lever arm that is magnitude of f divided by magnitude of magnitude of m divided by magnitude of f magnitude of m is a a minus b b magnitude of f is so you see here root over a square plus are you able to see or not okay not so let us see now a square plus b square so this is the resultant lever arm so you see what we have learned in this problem nothing more than that the previous problem we have do we have done the same thing so if you know the total force you know the total moment you can always find the lever arm there is a perpendicular distance from the origin to the resultant force are you getting or not so if you see so this is the length l if you see here in the diagram so let us say these all forces have a resultant something like this so let us say if you add all these forces they will have resultant force this side uh then resultant force let us say in this direction so this is the force resultant so i can draw a perpendicular from here this is my l that is the uh perpendicular distance that is the lever arm so point of application of resultant force so let us say resultant force is passing through this and then this is the perpendicular distance are you getting so this is the resultant arm we'll discuss for the next problem so if you have now if you have now written uh, let us write and then we'll go for the next problem